Italian Renaissance Art Renaissance artists sought to imitate nature. They wanted viewers to see the reality in their subjects. At the same time, these artists were developing a new, human-focused worldview. As one artist proclaimed, human beings were the center and measure of all things. New techniques in painting. Frescoes by Masaccio are the first masterpieces of early Renaissance, 1400 to 1490, art. A fresco is a painting done on fresh, wet plaster with water-based paints. Human figures in medieval paintings look flat, but Masaccio's figures have depth and come alive. By mastering the laws of perspective, Masaccio could create the illusion of three dimensions, leading to a new, realistic style. Other 15th century Florentine painters used and modified this new, or Renaissance, style. Especially important were two major developments. One development stressed the technical side of painting, understanding the laws of perspective and the organization of outdoor space and light through geometry. The second development was the investigation of movement and human anatomy, the realistic portrayal of the individual, especially the human nude, became one of the chief aims of Italian Renaissance art. Sculpture and Architecture The Renaissance produced equally stunning advances in sculpture and architecture. The sculptor Donatello studied the statues of the Greeks and Romans. His works included a realistic, freestanding figure of St. George. The work of architect Filippo Brunelleschi was inspired by the buildings of classical Rome. His design of the Church of San Lorenzo in Florence reflects this. The classical columns and rounded arches in the church's design create an environment that does not overwhelm the worshiper, as Gothic cathedrals might. The church creates a space to fit human and not divine needs. Like painters and sculptors, Renaissance architects sought to reflect a human-centered world. High Renaissance Masters The final stage of Italian Renaissance painting flourished between 1490 and 1520. Called the High Renaissance, the period is associated with Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Leonardo mastered the art of realistic painting and even dissected human bodies to better see how nature worked. However, he wanted to advance beyond such realism to create idealized forms that captured the perfection of nature and the individual, perfection that could not be expressed fully by a realistic style. At age 25, Raphael was already one of Italy's best painters. He was admired for his numerous Madonnas, paintings of the Virgin Mary. In these, he achieved an ideal of beauty far surpassing human standards. Raphael is also well known for his frescoes in the Vatican Palace. His school of Athens reveals a world of balance, harmony, and order, the underlying principles of classical Greek and Roman art. Michelangelo, an accomplished painter, sculptor, and architect, was another master of the High Renaissance. Fiercely driven by his desire to create, he worked with great passion and energy on a remarkable number of projects. Michelangelo's figures on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in Rome depict an ideal type of human being with perfect proportions. The beauty of this idealized human being is meant to be a reflection of divine beauty. The more beautiful the body, the more godlike the figure. The Northern Artistic Renaissance like the artists of Italy, the artists of Northern Europe became interested in portraying the world realistically. However, their approach was different from that of the Italians. This was particularly true of the artists of the Low Countries, present-day Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. Circumstance played a role in the differences. The large wall spaces of Italian churches had given rise to the art of fresco painting, Italian artists used these spaces to master the technical skills that allowed them to portray humans in realistic settings. 
In the north, the Gothic cathedrals with their stained glass windows did not allow enough space for frescoes. Thus, northern European artists painted illustrations for books and wooden panels for altarpieces. Great care was needed to depict each object on a small scale. The most important northern school of art in the 1400s was in Flanders, one of the Low Countries. The Flemish painter Jan van Eyck was among the first to use and perfect the technique of oil painting. He used a varnish made of linseed oil and nut oils mixed with resins. This medium enabled van Eyck to use a wide variety of brilliant translucent colors. With his oil paints, he could create striking realism in fine details, as in his painting Giovanni Annofini and his Bride. Like other northern Renaissance artists, however, Van Eyck imitated nature not by using perspective, as the Italians did, but by simply observing reality and portraying details as best he could. By 1500, Artists from the north had begun to study in Italy and to be influenced by what artists were doing there. One German artist who was greatly affected by the Italians was Albrecht Dürer. He made two trips to Italy and absorbed most of what the Italians could teach on the laws of perspective. As can be seen in his famous Adoration of the Magi, Dürer did not reject the use of minute detail characteristic of northern artists. He did try, however, to fit those details more harmoniously into his works in accordance with Italian artistic theories. Like the Italian artists of the High Renaissance, Dürer tried to achieve a standard of ideal beauty that was based on a careful examination of the human form. <laughs>